I focused on my career and since I am single, I wasn't sure if having a baby would ever happen. So when I found out I was pregnant, I was overjoyed. My brother is married but has made it very clear that he will be child free. I got a shirt for my nephew to wear that says, this is what an awesome big cousin looks like. I wanted him to wear it during our family dinner. My sister was the first one to notice the shirt and everyone immediately began to assume it was my sister-in-law who was pregnant. I wasn't hurt at them assuming this because she is married. I was hurt because my sister-in-law didn't try to correct them. She just went along with it and began to rub her flat belly while laughing. I tried to explain but they all didn't hear me and just continued to fawn over my sister-in-law. I got up and went home. I received multiple texts saying I'm an asshole for making this all about me and I'm just bitter. Morning my sister-in-law must have finally let it slip that she is not pregnant. They have all now called me to apologize saying that they all just got caught up in the moment. My sister-in-law sent me a message that said the way I chose to announce was how she wanted to do it if she ever got pregnant. She said that since she is not ever having a child, she wanted to experience what the moment would be like. To me, there's no fixing this. I will eventually forgive them, but I don't want to do a second announcement so they feel better. Am I the asshole? So how I make my girls feel comfortable is I don't come into the room and act like a stranger. I come in and I act like your friend. I don't pause. I hold a full conversation the entire time. I want to get to know you genuinely and I want you to get to know me because when you come here, let me tell you, we are going to build a bond. Story time about why my mom kicked me out when I was 16. So a little background information. This had all started as soon as my dad left my mom and I. I was like 13 around the time. Well, ever since then, my mom would have different guys in and out of the house all the time. Like, we were lucky if a month went by and she was still with the same dude. Which, I mean, I kind of get it because my dad did leave us for a woman that he had started another family with. But at the same time, it was just a whole mess. Anyway, so she had got with this new guy and we're gonna call him Tyler. And by the way, the dudes that she would date, they would literally live at our house. Anyway, so a week after he moved in, I started getting really close to him, which usually never happens. Usually I would try to keep my distance because I knew how wrong it was of her having all these different guys in the house when I'm only 16. Anyways, every time that my mom would go to work, he would invite me to go see a movie and he would just be really f My boyfriend proposed to me on Christmas. Everything was perfect. He bought me this beautiful Tiffany & Co. diamond ring. The ring was a little big, so I decided to go in to get it resized. 
They took the ring into the bag and tried to pull up his information but were unable to. After inspecting the ring, the manager comes out and shows me that it's not a Tiffany ring, saying there's no engraving on the inside. My first thought is he probably bought it used from someone and got duped. So when I got home, I asked him if he got it used and it's okay, but he flipped out on me, saying no, it's brand new from the Tiffany store. He got upset saying I'm snooping around for the price of the ring. He told me I should have consulted him and he would have had it sized for me and that it feels like I'm going behind his back. So I did a little snooping. I went on his Amazon account and I saw that he purchased two rings. The first one was bought December 2nd, the one he gave me on Christmas, and then another one a size smaller last night. I'm not upset that he didn't buy me a Tiffany ring. I'm upset that he lied about it. I told him I didn't need the ring. He could have bought me a $200 14 karat gold band at Macy's and I would have been fine. And said he spent money on a box and two fake rings. He then confessed and said he got the box from his friend who proposed with a Tiffany ring. I don't know what to do. We don't change the wax. We pretty much use it all. If we ever have any leftover wax, let's say I only saw 8 or 12 clients that day, more than likely I will have some leftover wax. I simply turn off the wax warmer, add more pebbles, and turn it on the next morning. We never double dip once the stick makes contact with the skin. We then toss it out and grab a new stick to apply more wax. How often we clean our wax warmers varies. There's no set time, but we clean them very often. When I was 27, my boyfriend proposed to me. We both have stable jobs and decided to plan the wedding immediately. Around the same time, my brother proposed to his 24-year-old girlfriend and they started planning for the wedding as well. One day, my future sister-in-law called me to see if we can go over wedding planning. That's when she told me if I could get married in the afternoon and that she could get married an hour or two later and then we share the reception. She said it'd become a great way for us to become sisters and that this will mean the world to my brother. In reality, I know that they aren't financially well off and she wants a fancy wedding without the fancy wedding price tag. I didn't really know what to say, but I told her that's mine and my fiancé's wedding. We planned it for us and we want it to be about us. She exploded in anger and said I wouldn't understand how hurtful it is to see the amazing wedding that I'm planning and know that she couldn't have something like that. I told her I waited to get married so that I could afford the wedding I wanted. And she said she wants to get married before she's old and dried up like some people. She called me heartless and a selfish bitch. I stormed off and my brother called me a few days later. He asked if I could please reconsider. I told him I didn't want to share my wedding day and I wasn't sure if I even wanted his fiancé there.
I've always had a good relationship with my mother-in-law up until I was pregnant. My husband's side of the family hasn't had a girl born in the past 100 years. So when everyone found out I was pregnant with a girl, no one believed me. Everyone was so shocked when it was announced that most of them denied it up until the moment she was born. And that's when the horrible comments started. Whenever my husband wasn't around, my mother-in-law would make snarky comments like, I wonder where she got that nose. It's definitely not my son's. I never told him and let everything slide because she's older and she's my mother-in-law. But when I was pregnant with baby number two, and yes, it was another girl, I told him to wait as long as possible because I know she wouldn't like the news. When she found out it was a girl, she started sobbing and screaming. She was calling me a whore and demanded that I get out of her house. Those girls are not ours. She's a whore, a slut. My son did not make those girls. She looked at me and said, I let you get away with it the first time. I took you in as family. I allowed my son to believe he fathered that brat, but I will not allow it again. My husband was yelling at his mom and I got up and took my daughter and I ran to the car sobbing. This is an ongoing mess that continues to haunt me. My sister is recently engaged to her boyfriend of many years. He proposed to her at one of our family barbecues and I was really happy for them until I saw the ring. My sister had hinted that her and her boyfriend were discussing tying the knot and we discussed rings at length. I went online and searched for the type of ring she said she was interested in and happened across a very unique and pretty ring on Etsy, but it had a fake middle stone. As soon as I saw the ring, I recognized it. Everyone knows they're supposed to spend at least three to four months paying on an engagement ring. He has a good paying job and 4 months wages for him would be at least 8 to 10k at an estimate. I know for a fact that this ring was $450. I waited until the proposal was over and asked the couple for a quiet word, but that had the opposite effect as I was overheard by the entire family. I told my sister I had seen her ring online and it wasn't a real diamond or even expensive. I accused her boyfriend of trying to cheap out of one of the most important gifts of her entire life. She burst into tears and said she gave him a budget of $400. She didn't want a real diamond. She's lost every piece of jewelry she's owned and she didn't want to be devastated by losing this if she ever does. Thought I was doing my sisterly duty by pointing out the fake ring. Am I the asshole for telling my sister? 